Welcome to my lecture online. Here we are given two curves. They're defined, x equals y squared and y equals x plus 5. And the two lines defined by y equals 2 and y equals negative 1. And we're supposed to find the area contained within all those lines and curves. So the best thing to do is to always graph the function so you can visually see what's going on. Otherwise, you may uh, approach this a completely different and, and wrong way. So first, let's graph x equals y squared, which is a parabola that's leaning over to its side. Looks kind of like this. And then we have a, a straight line, y equals x plus 5. When x is 0, y equals 5. And when y, when, uh, y equals 0, x is minus 5. So that's right here. So let's draw a line that looks like this. And then we need to draw these two lines, y equals 2, that'll probably be this line right here, and y equals negative 1, which is this line right here. And so you can see that this here is the area that we're trying to find. And notice that if we draw the area element dA sideways, we have a horizontal dA that we could probably manage the easiest because in this way you can see that the difference or the length of dA is always going to be between the two curves. So if we call this curve here y1 and y1 let's call that the x plus 5 and here when we call this y2 and we can say that y2 is equal if we take the square root of both sides uh, that would be equal to the square root of x like this then you can see we have both of those functions defined in terms of y and if you want to define them in terms of x we can say that x1 is equal to y minus 5 and here we can say that x2 is equal to uh, let's see y squared right yeah we square both sides there we go and I believe we probably want to use these two representations of the two curves to find the area because if you look at the area element, dA right here, you can say that dA is equal to the length, which is the upper limit minus the lower limit. So it would be equal to y2, or I should say x2 minus x1, because that's in the x direction. So it would be x2 minus x1. And then the thickness of the dA element is dy. So there's your area element. And the limits in the y direction will be from minus 1 2 positive 2 so this line here is y equals minus 1 and this line is y is equal to 2 so those will be the limits of your integration and notice that this will be this area right here that we're trying to find and this area right here that we're trying to find there we go so that's the area we're looking for there's a small little area element that means that the area is going to be equal to the integral of all your da's and the da's are going to run from y equals negative 1 to y equals 2 which is equal to the integral from minus 1 to 2 and your dA is going to be defined as uh, x2 minus x1 times dy and then of course since you can't mix x and the y's together we have to replace x we have to write x in terms of y so then x1 is y minus 5 x2 is y squared so this is going to be equal to the integral from minus 1 to 2 of x2, which is y squared, minus x1, which is y minus 5. That will be minus y plus 5 if we apply the negative sign to that particular function. And that will then be times dy. And that should give us the area between those two curves. So let's go ahead and see what that gives us. This is y cubed over 3 minus y squared over 2 plus 5y evaluated from minus 1 to 2 and both upper and lower limits do have an impact plug in the upper limit we get uh, 2 cubed that's 8 over 3 here we get uh, y squared that's 2 squared that's 4 divided by 2 which is minus 2 and here we get plus 5 times 2 which is 10 minus and we plug in the lower limit we get uh, minus 1 cubed that's minus 1 over 3 Plug in this, we get y squared, that would be positive 1 divided by 2, that's 1 half times a negative, that's minus 1 half. And over here, we plug that in, we get a minus 5. But notice that this negative will cancel out all those negatives, so make that positive, 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 positive. All right. And 
Let's see here. Let's simplify. So here we have 8 thirds plus a third, that's 9 thirds, which is 3. Minus 2 plus 10, that would be plus 8. Then we have plus 5 and plus 1 half. So that will be uh, 13, 16 and a half. So it's equal to 16 plus 1 half or 32 halves or 33 halves is one way to write it. There we go. And that will then be the area between those two curves.